Hello, I'm Dave, and on this video, I'll be painting Bugs Bunny. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe right now and click that bell for notifications. So I started this off with a blue background, and then I used my airbrush to, to uh, spray on some white, just uh, some white circles, uh, different shapes, and different um, uh, depths of uh, depth of color. So some of them a little more faded than others. Uh, and then some really bold uh, after that I use some um, like black with purple and, and blue like a dark version um, for the bottom part and I sprayed that on uh, just to kind of blend the color uh, from from dark tones on the bottom upward towards the top is, is nice bright tones so uh, add a little bit of shadow basically on, on the, the backdrop then after that, I use my uh, charcoal, my white charcoal pencil, and now I'm drawing in Bugs Bunny. I'm getting the full body in here, and he's gonna be holding a carrot. So I'm drawing all that before I paint. That way I know exactly where to paint. So now I'm using uh, white mixed with uh, some, some black for uh, his gray uh, fur, and then um, like his gray skin tone and um I'm, I'm hitting in different um depths of color there different tones so i am going to add more white in like on the shoulder and on the back side of of his back and um and his and the top of his tail and also like the left side of his head uh, and the right side of his head you can see i have some lighter tones there and then some darker tones throughout uh, like the opposite end of those uh, just where I want that shadow to really pop up I'm painting the ears now You can see the dark tones and light tones on the ears And now painting his stomach I'm getting the details the different shades in there and now onto his hand so I just painted all that white first and then uh, painted all like his uh, his teeth white and then his cheeks white so I wanted to get those white just to cover the backdrop first I didn't really add any tone or, or different variation in colors there yet. Now I'm covering the eyes. I'm getting that nice white color. Wherever I need to cover that backdrop, basically, is where I'm covering with white. Now onto the carrot, and I'm using a couple of tones there. Uh, some brown mixed with the, the orange for the darker tones, and then some yellow and white mixed with the orange for the lighter tones on the carrot. And now I'm getting a little bit of shadow in there with the, uh, like some grayish colors. And I got the inside of the mouth with like a red and dark brown color and a little bit of pink for the tongue. And I'm getting some more tones in the face and then uh, now in the ears, I'm using like a peach color. It's basically white, yellow, and red mixed together. And green for the stem of the carrot. And I wanted to lighten up some of those tones on the, on the carrot itself. Now I'm outlining with the paint marker to get those details in there. Basically that outline is going to make it all kind of come together. I'm going to outline his hand first, then his body. 
onto the cheek right here and the eyes. Basically, uh, my my intention here, or the 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 way I did this was I was outlining where I knew the paint was dry. I didn't want the paint to, to smear on my hand and then smear on the canvas itself. So I'm just moving around, uh, seeing where it's dry. And also to make sure that the paint marker itself wasn't leaking, uh, wasn't smearing, that that would dry off as I got to it. I'm doing the whiskers here. And here he is, Bugs Bunny. If you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click that bell for notifications thanks for watching